Is that Abraham Lincoln? Yes. What kind of That was a we are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Okay, you say good morning. Tuesday is Tuesday. Every day is Tuesday. Tuesday's where we spread our joy and fun. Tuesday's where we spread our joy and fun? Uh huh. I like that. Let's walk. Grammy wants us to send all Christmas. Presents. Of course, Grammy would want yeah. that. <laughs> our little caddy with some fresh new pencils. Today is math day, which I'm actually very excited about. So Savannah's been quizzing our neighbor using um, resource books she had. So the last one was the Bold Women in Black History, and this one she's gonna be doing that 100 Extraordinary Stories for Courageous Girls. Today we're going to breed dancing hands. So we made our way to the historical note. We loved this book, Re really cute. And I think my favorite we're talking about the civil war about using your gifts about abraham lincoln which we have been covering him quite a bit lately this hands down my favorite illustration in the book and they found venezuela what kind of america. it's like america but south well, that's what it says on up venezuela is in south america where in South America is, if you were to describe to me where Venezuela is in South America, what would you say? North of Brazil, east of Colombia. That is Venezuela. And French guy. Mm-hmm. So I'm reading the historical note, and first of all, we know that she was from Venezuela. She's an in an immigrant. Her father was a politician and an amateur pianist who taught her how to play. By the time she was six, she was already composing her own music and soon she was performing. You know what I think is wonderful about that? I love when we are studying things and the dots get connected. So baby girl just finished um, doing a little bit of fraction practice. We also got new fraction tiles that are up on that board there that they have been enjoying using. But um, I think that it's time for us to get in a little bit more practice on money because Savannah, Savannah often gets her coins mixed up. So it just means we need a little bit of extra time to work on them. Savannah! <laughs> okay, so she got her pumpkin jar. Inside of her pumpkin jar is her little money stash. Want to open? Yes. Let's see what you got. Savannah! Oh. <laughs> no, we need your coins. Oh. Where are your coins, girl? Kendall is actually struggling with writing his math problems out because he breezes through them so quickly and wants to get them done and that's wonderful but i need him to show me his work but so, why because it helps me to see what you are grabbing a hold of or what you might need some help with that's what his face looks like when he's unhappy because mommy was right <laughs> over <laughs> is that abraham lincoln yeah. So we were just talking about connecting the dots, which I feel like is one of my favorite parts of this whole unschooling situation is learning to connect the dots. 
So the kids and I are always looking for the dots that we can connect. And Abraham Lincoln has been one of them <laughs> for the last several weeks. So, so what do you have, bud? So he's working on equivalent fractions. And he went and grabbed. Since the circles aren't there, I just grabbed these. Yeah, that's perfect. So what's equivalent, baby? Um, so one half is equivalent to? Three sixths. Because I knew this before I got these. <laughs> He is using these, which was certainly a win. Oh, wait. One, two, three, two. Wait a minute. So we've got coins. <laughs> I think the most challenging thing about Unschool lately has been that it's so involved, but just requires me to flex my creative skills. So I'm gonna go get my um, coin cards, which should be right here in this little manipulative basket. So, and then I have some big ones that I need to find too. You can have all three of these, and then I have one. If you guys have been around for a little while, then you would have, um, you would have seen this before. I've used this, we used this with the coins, and now I get to use it with Savannah. So she's excited because the uncle left behind a map. It was on the bottom, you know, when you hold an umbrella. Yes. And if you look up, there would be a map. So while she's reading, she follows yeah. me around and it says tells me what it's about. Connected. Okay. The hoop diamond. The umbrella was more than a map. It was some kind of talk secret blueprint. Cam is reading forever or a long, long time. And the protagonists in his story are siblings, and they are orphans. Um, so they have moved along different foster parents. And so now he keeps coming to me, telling me, updating me on why they were no longer with previous foster parents. I had so much more to show you, and then my camera kept dying. <laughs> Our school day is all done. According to my watch, it says it's time for me to declutter a little bit. I moved like decluttering, kind of clean up time to the time that we just finished like our lessons together because I feel like it helps me to um, blow off a little bit of steam and feel like I have things kind of back together instead of, you know, they're just being a mess all over. My little annotation situation is um, panning out very well. Um, I read through this book and annotated it and um and now kendall is reading through it and he gets to the little parts that i tag and the notes that i take and we get to talk about it so that's been working out really well i updated my printables i need to say hello to my patron fam it is taco tuesday brian is still working the kids went outside for a little bit um and now i need to switch over to my work hat so i can get a little bit of emails and edits and those type of things accomplished um, I did not journal for today, so I want to try and get at least 15 or 20 minutes of that in. Um, and then I need to move on to working out because your girl, it has to happen, okay? <laughs> I have to give you guys a whole update on my whole health and fitness situation, but it's going well. We've had some ups and some downs, and I'll, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you all about it. And let me just say that this whole Monday.com situation has been changing my life, okay? It's taken some adjustment um, because everybody on the team likes to work a different way. But uh, just having like a central location for us to be able to log our task and um, be able to chat with each other, especially for communicating with my husband. Like he has his own work to do throughout the day and I have my own things to do with the kids throughout the day. And so there's other work that needs to be done um, that we both have separate pockets of time to work on. So just being able to like go in and update a task and drop in a few comments is everything right now. So I am currently trying to set up a separate 
board for homeschool because I have a lot of things that we do in homeschool and things that I want to track and um, take note of and I think I said this in a video a long time ago but um, my mom is actually we call her the keeper of the kids she's the one that makes sure I stay accountable for being true to our homeschool lives and making sure that um, I'm doing the best I can as homeschool mom so she uh, keeps track of my planning and my journaling and things like that I kind of like love it so far so we'll see how it goes it's really nice to invest in something that is actually um, making a major difference in your, the flow of your days one of the things that really threatens to haunt my life is uh, dropping the ball on stuff that I know that I could have accomplished had I just um, managed my time a lot better so this is like time management 5.0 taking it to a whole different level because we are always doing all the things so, so I'm gonna get in some work then I'm gonna get in some reading then I'm gonna get in some writing and hopefully these kids go outside so I don't have to hear all this <laughs> currently listening to kindness and wonder y'all come tell these kids to be quiet Thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember that life is so very full of lessons, so our goal is to live and to learn. Don't forget to subscribe!